Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. This is your girl. I'm here. I'm doing a reaction video on a lot of this crime that's going on out here. Like, guys, what is going on? It is so much that's going on, and it's really sad. Like, like what has the world come to? So this reaction video is, I don't know if have a lot of y'all seen it, but this happens out here in New York, even though... This has been taking place like all across the um the the country, with a lot of these Asians has been getting attacked, and this one is a 65 year old woman who was on her way to church on Sunday, and she was no well it wasn't Sunday I, I shouldn't just say Sunday because people go to church more than just on a Sunday. Well, according to she was on her way to church that they said and. The man just attacked her, said, you don't belong here. And it's, it's kind of graphic, so for some of y'all, y'all might not want to watch this reaction. Some of y'all do. I would definitely like to um, hear y'all comments down below about this, because, guys, it's serious. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, it's really ridiculous. 37-year-old man who was accused... No, 37-year-old man who who back in 2002 killed his own mother and he did 17 years in jail and he was released after doing the 17 years he's out on parole like i think they say he's out on parole on um what you call it um life parole so this is something i know everybody deserves second chances and things like that but some things you just like have to really think and take in consideration of that person, where that person's mind is at and things like that. And this goes back to what I have been saying a while back. We're not going to go too much deep into it because I want to hear your reaction on it and see what y'all think about this, guys. So, yeah, here we go. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Oh, and your girl, while we doing this reaction, yeah, I got me a, a mocha flappuccino from... Yeah, but he's got a flurry of tips, and that ultimately is what helped lead to his arrest for detectives who are hot on his trail. I also found out the suspect, Brandon Elliott, was actually on parole at the time of his arrest overnight. According to state records, he was actually uh, convicted of murdering his own mother back in 2002 in the Bronx. He did 16 years in state prison before he was ultimately released in 2019. And now he is back behind bars once again for another serious crime that has made waves across the globe after this video has surfaced. Elliot was arrested where he lives at what we believe to be a homeless hotel on West 40th Street, just a few blocks from here. Records show he has an arrest history dating back nearly two decades, as you see, for assault. Then in 2002, he was arrested and sent to prison for the killing of his mother. However, he was released and then he moved to Manhattan after his parole. Now he's under arrest for this high-profile attack in Hell's Kitchen Monday. Surveillance video showing the police say is the 38-year-old randomly knocking a 65-year-old woman to the ground and stomping her while saying, you don't belong here. Authorities say this disturbing hate crime, just one of 33 similar incidents against Asians so far this year here in the city. The victim has a pelvis injury and contusions to her head. Sick. The shocking video, of course, enraged the city, but it helped lead to his quick arrest. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you do, you've got to help your fellow New Yorker. And if you see someone being attacked, uh, do whatever you can. It's definitely a gut check to have it happen on your front door. Um, it's, it's definitely like a, a kick in the face of reality. The doorman to the apartment building is who the mayor is referring to. This all apparently happened in front of them, and they have faced scrutiny for failing to help the woman and literally closed the door on her after it happened. However, the doorman's union claims they did ultimately call for help. Meanwhile, the suspect in the case, Brandon Elliott, is awaiting arraignment in Manhattan Criminal Court later on today Sick. on charges Sick. including assault and hate crimes. Reporting live in Hell's Kitchen, I'm Anthony Lorenzo, Pixel 11 News. 
all right guys thank you all for watching this video and i just wanted your thoughts and comments down below like tell me this is crazy first of all i don't know how y'all feel about it but what i want to say is i understand some people don't want to get into like how would you say it? don't want to um get into other other people situations but something like that is <coughs> excuse me it's totally different one you're close the door you're seeing the man just i don't know where just attacked the lady and you're close the door and it's not it wasn't just one it was three of y'all in there three i understand the two that was the um security guard and then the it was one i knew like it was a delivery guy like ups fedex or one of them but three men three grown as men and not one of y'all was able to come to that lady rescue and i get it because i know like sometimes you can't but sometimes you gotta just let certain things just kick in and take chances and i and i and i mean i kind of understand it because y'all don't know what the man could have he could have had a gun anything and turn around and get shot y'all so i get it but at least y'all could have called like call police did something like it was something y'all could have did I, I feel deep down it was something y'all could have did because i know for a fact if it would have been other people that seen that and that's the sad part about it because if you've had a lot of more ladies females that will s speak out and 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 help of over men and that's sad and like I said, I get it, understand, but come on, guys. They closed the door. And then for him to do that, yeah, I hope he don't come back out. Like, one, you already was you already was in there for killing your own mother. What, what does that say about you? What does that say about you? You killed your, the person that gave birth to you. That's enough about this, guys. I want to hear y'all comment down below. Make sure y'all leave your comments down below. Tell me what y'all think about this. Thank y'all for watching this reaction video. It's just like whew, overwhelming. Like, and we need to stop all this hatred that's going on, guys. So with that being said, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you subscribe to the channel. And just know your girl love you. You already know. And I'll be back with another video. Until then, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay blessed. And please, guys, stay safe. Stay safe, God. That's most. That's the most important thing. Everyone stay safe and stay blessed. So with that being said, guys, y'all have a good day.